Hello and welcome back to my channel. <laughs> I'm being attacked by a dog. I'm being attacked by a dog. <laughs> Today we've got a very interesting and different video. Um, I've been wanting to do this for ages, but obviously like, I was in early recovery from anorexia and it did freak me out a lot. And it still freaks me out, but I feel like I'm ready for it now. So, um, everyone meet my brother, Rory. <laughs> um, Good day. <laughs> No. Everyone meet my dog B who won't leave me alone. <laughs> so today um, I'm going to be eating my brother's diet for a day and by diet I don't mean that he's on a diet I just mean like diet as in what he eats every day. I've always mocked him for like how he doesn't really like cook anything different and um, I've always like laughed at the amount of um, things he has for breakfast so this is going to be fun. This is going to be exciting. Any words? No. Okay. Let's get cracking. You ready? I'm ready. Oh, I don't know if I'm ready, but... Let's go. Hello, Make it tasty. Hi! This dog will not leave me alone. Alright, we have six minutes of it with sugar and milk. Enjoy. Oh! <laughs> I don't think I can explain, like, how huge this is. Like, can you... This is in a, a dinner pasta bowl. Like, here's my hand for reference. Um, the top ones will still be quite dry, so... Okay. The bottom ones, the top ones. Oh my god. Imagine trying to present this to me like a year ago. So you like crawled under the table like you used to do with bananas, I reckon. <laughs> I'm a good cook, aren't I? Honestly, you're a chef. How quickly can you eat this? Um, about six and a half minutes. <laughs> no, I don't know. In ten minutes, I definitely. I'm going to be here for two business days. So it's really going to... Set you up for a, a good day, I tell uh -huh, you. This is going to help me bulk. <laughs> For reference, I'm not bulky. I don't weigh lift. See, if I was having wheat bix I'd usually have two. So this is triple the amount of wheat bix that I usually have. You kind of do have to lean over your bowl to eat this. Yeah. It's been drip everywhere. I'll allow you that. If I complete this, I'll be very impressed with myself. You will. I'm actually fairly hungry right now, so. Just, you know, give me a load of energy for your walk later. Mm -hmm. I also just want to say, if any of you do need this amount of food or like similar to this or you feel like you eat similar to this, the only reason I'm saying it's a lot is because I am maintaining and have kind of adjusted to eating like normal sized portions for myself so it's not a reflection on anyone else. Show them your bowl. This is mine. Bosh! Still a lot, but I'm very aggressive. Bigger spoonfuls in that way, it's gonna be there all day. I'm trying. I'm not gonna lie, I'm doing pretty well. Oh, well, yeah, I mean, six is quite ambitious, isn't it? If you're only normally having two. Hey, you're just proving to yourself what you can do. <laughs> it is true. I was watching you make it and I was watching the sugar you put on it and all the wheat bits going in and my brain was like, oh. Hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. But you know what, fuck it. It's starting to get to me now. <laughs> it's starting to get to you. <laughs> Come on, you can't, you can't leave that. Do you want a glass of water? Mm. I'm really waddling when I'm saying this. <laughs> You got your morning snack in half an hour, right? So. Oh. <laughs> nah, Jake, can give you 45 minutes. <laughs> I did it. I literally did it. Is it as clean as one has gone? Yeah, actually. Probably cleaner, I'd say. Wow, good start to the day. Uh huh. A lot of energy in your body. Oh, it was beautiful. You know what, right? I think when I stand up, I'm gonna feel a bit sick. But right now, I feel absolutely fine. That was really not as bad as it felt like it was no. gonna be. Six weeks oh. fixed down. Six more to go. Round two. Let's have it. Anorexia can get gone. Am I right, ladies? Just popping in here to talk to you about something. This is not an ad, it's not sponsored, it's just exciting. So if you've been following me for a while, you'll know that I released some t-shirts, one saying, be kind to yourself, and one saying, my body is my home. I made them just to uplift people a bit, and hopefully if you wore them, you get some comfort from them. But unfortunately, they only run for a limited time, so they were gone. A lot of you asked for them to be brought back, and so that's what I've done, except now they're also available on hoodies, so you can get them as a t-shirt or a hoodie. They're available internationally, so anyone that wants one can grab one. I will link them in the description. And yeah, on with the video. We are off to Sainsbury's. 
to buy some snacks. I haven't had my morning snack yet, but I'm actually very grateful for that because... I've had six weeks of it. I've had six weeks of it, so my stomach's a bit... A little bit sore, you could say. Have you got snacks in mind? Yeah, I know what we're getting. What do you fancy? Edamame bean stir from? Uh-huh. That'll do me. What the cluck is this? Medium egg noodles. <laughs> 12, all of them for you. I hope, I hope that's all right. <laughs> yep, they are indeed eggs, excellent. Product placement. It's wet. There we go. That actually looks really, really nice. Oh, everything I cook's really, really nice. Like that looks, that looks good, that looks... No. There's a dog on your chair. <laughs> I wonder what was behind me. I wonder what I just sat on. Right, well, right now I've got a, a friend to eat my scrambled eggs. This looks like a nice lunch. I'm still full from breakfast. I can't even... I think like, this day is actually going to be really good at like challenging that because I used to have such like a, an awful guilty feeling whenever I was full. I, I am learning to sit with it because obviously I had to like stretch my stomach out in early recovery, but being full is not always a bad thing. Egg. Right, okay. Oh, this is falling apart. No, that's kind of really, really nice. Is this what you have for your lunch every day? When I'm at the uni house, if I'm on campus, I have a new deal every single day, which God. burns a hole in your pocket, but... Yeah. Stopping counting calories was literally, like, probably the best thing I've ever done. It's given me so much more, like, food freedom, because if I was sat here calculating the calories and everything I was going to eat today, I just wouldn't be able to do it. I'd just have freaked out and made everything... Well, you wouldn't be able to do this, would you? You wouldn't be able to have me cooking all your... Mm. All your food for you, you know, because I don't have a clue what I'm mm -hmm. putting in, you know. It brings a lot of freedom that I'm very grateful to have. Um, I'm getting really, really, really full. Really full, which is fun, because I know this is only like part two of the entire day. It's taken me like three hours to recover from the wheat of this. <laughs> I'm nearly there though. I might need the spinach, I'm not gonna lie. I might cry. I'm not trying to guilt trip you into it, but you will make me cry. It's always a bit like a guilt trip. <laughs> it's just a bit wet. You're a bit wet. Thank you very much. My guy. I actually really rate that. I would eat it again. Would you? Yeah. What was that? No, just felt like it. <laughs> Finito. I have left a bit of spinach. I am on the brink of being overly full and feeling unwell, which I'm not trying to do, but I think I've done very, very well with that, though. Uh, yeah, f fair enough. You, you know, it was a big portion again mm -hmm. after a, a normal breakfast for me, but for me, ridiculously big for you. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. You can't argue with that. And it's only been what two hours since breakfast? How Maybe many three? eggs did you put in there? Oh, it was six between us. So three, so three each. each. Yeah. Well, that's it for lunch then. Done and dusted. I did it. Now I'm extra full. I'm just gonna sit with that feeling. It's fine. Like, is there any egg there that hasn't got spinach? Here you go. Just to be. Hey, do you want some egg? Mm -hmm. Here you see. She just sat in the middle of, I don't know where really. Okay, how many? Whoa! <laughs> Did she touch oh, them? Off the tube, is that Oh my god. Uh, we'll have four each. Four? Okay. Okay okay okay. okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. Right. What's there to be scared of? It's a cake. It's fine. Right. Finish the first one. Oh god, where are you? Number two. It's such a really challenging for me actually. I guess it's because I've never eaten four in a row. They're only tiny, it's not your mm -hmm. four full size ones. On to muffin number three. This is easy, it doesn't matter. Just four little muffins. Mm -hmm. The only reason I would care is because of anorexia and fuck that. Three to eat. My final one. Do you watch it is? Ass. Not half fast. I'm done. So I will see you at second snack or dinner.
plan is. Yeah, we'll have a little snack when we get in the walk. I am kind of getting into a headspace right now where I'm just feeling really guilty about the amount of food I've eaten today. And I know that sounds bad because for a lot of you, it will look like a normal hour of food. Um, and if you're going through extreme hunger or eating more than normal in recovery, I don't want you to think I'm sat here saying that this is a huge amount of food for the average person because it's only a big amount of food for me because I need less to maintain. But I think my brain is kind of going a bit crazy with the fact that I've eaten a lot more than normal. But I'm just kind of reminding myself that this is one day and that actually is a bit of fun. It's a chance for me and my brother to spend some time together. And I trust that my body is going to level out and that one day of different eating is not gonna make me gain any more weight because your metabolism does know what it's doing and that's how like my family could go out like one night a week and have like a really big dinner in a restaurant and their body doesn't turn that into weight gain because everything levels out over the next week and your body's intuitive and it'll tell you that you might need a little bit less one day and a little bit more one day and it's absolutely fine so if you're gonna have a day where you know you're gonna have to eat like more than normal and you're really stressed that like that one day is gonna make you gain weight that is not how it works i remember thinking it was but you have to eat consistently like that time and time again for it to make you gain weight and obviously if you're trying to gain weight then you should be eating consistently more but yeah i don't know i'm just trying to rationalize it obviously it's not a normal like challenge to do and i know i always get like a few shitty comments of people being like this isn't healthy like stop saying this is healthy and promoting this and i'm like i came from a place of like complete restriction which is incredibly unhealthy like i'm giving my body a balance and that's what i'm encouraging other people to do but at the same time enjoying whatever they want to eat and being free with food because once you're free with food it opens up a lot more freedom in your life because for example right if i'm on holiday and i'm with all my friends and they want to go get ice cream i don't want to be left out i would have to go and get ice cream with them to not be left out see if i was doing some diet some crazy diet where i believed that it was bad and wrong and i couldn't eat that ice cream i couldn't join in and that's a memory missed for me if i am comfortable eating those foods and i incorporate them regularly in my diet so i'm not scared of them I can seize the opportunity, make memories and be part of it and eat something that I really want to eat. It makes sense in my mind. But anyways, I think we're going to have another snack soon. Um, snack number two. We'll see what happens. It's snack time. It is. Oh, so what's this? A cinnamon? Cinnamon and raisin bagel. Okay, I know you love those. A banana. And a banana. Enjoy. Thanks. I'm not gonna lie, I'm very, very, very full for everything I've eaten today. I'm pretty hungry to be honest. very robot mode today just eat don't think i feel like if i thought about it i would stop and i convinced myself that i was way more full than i was I feel like i have more capacity for this food than i realize i just it's a bit uncomfortable I've been eating mad today. I think I've done pretty well today though, to be fair. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I don't think I thought I would be able to finish the wheat a bit or eat four muffins. That was a bit of a challenge on the brain, but I feel like these are like a staple part of your diet. If I have dinner and I'm still hungry or whatever, like a couple hours later, because they literally take two minutes, you just toast it and then eat it. It's done like no effort needed. You should be. Well done, a banana skin on a plate. Well done, you. Only joking, lad. They ate it like it was nothing. Now I'm proud of myself. So it should be. Uh huh. And, and the grand finale in a couple of hours. <laughs> it's alright, it's gonna be good to like teach me that like feeling full isn't the end of the world and that actually like my body will regulate itself. I'm never really gonna be able to slate you on what you eat again because I actually quite enjoyed it. Exactly, it's a great no, way not, to live. Not the portion sizes, but I've liked what you're eating. Yeah. But he's bulking, you know. I'm not now. The, the, po the portion he sizes was. are what I need. So if I don't eat this much, then I feel hungry. Like, and I felt mm. hungry but just then, like, you know. I will see you at dinner. Just dinner okay. and dessert. It's dinner time, which means it's the final part of the video because you're, we're having dinner and pudding, not dinner and snack, which right. is yeah. not what I usually do. So it will be ending soon. <laughs> What are you doing? You know you're rapping or something. Uh, yeah, so chicken stir fry for dinner. Obviously, you are a vegetarian, so mm -hmm, difficult veggie. Vegan chicken, what the cluck. Mm -hmm. And then a nice little something for dessert. And then we're done. And then I, 
I don't have to worry about my stomach exploding anymore. I think mentally it's been worse than physically, which I was surprised about thought it would be the other way around. Anyways. Oh. Oh. That actually was really good. Sorry, I'm not cooking. Get the fuck out. I don't know why I just decided to do that. Doesn't count now. You could be. Oh well. no. Video's ruined. Video's done. Hello, puppy. I'm thinking, what's going on? Rory's actually doing some cooking. Oh no. This is my final actual meal of the day. You've done really well. Let's go in, let's try. Is it edible? Do you want to try a bit of the chicken? Yeah, go on, actually do, because... Being brave. Oh yeah, yeah, no, that is nice. Is there protein in it? Mm -hmm. Let's go. This looks like a kind of terrifying portion to my silly little brain, but I feel like I can make my way through it easy. Also excuse how messily I've eaten today. I think my key has been fast. Don't think so. I've had to and eat like me. Mm -hmm. So you do days. eat fast um, and messily. So that's why I've just been kind of shoveling things in because otherwise I don't think I'll finish it. And I've, I've set myself this challenge. And if you followed my YouTube channel, you will know that I don't. I don't back down. I don't back down. So describe a normal week of dinners for you mm. at uni? Well, it would be chicken stir fry or prawn stir fry. A variation? Like, probably four to seven nights. Then probably like one takeaway. Well, or a takeaway or a meal out. And then the two other nights are normally just like pizzas, takeaway, not takeaway pizzas, but like shop mm -hmm. pizzas. A chicken, this is pretty accurate It's then. a chicken stir fry diet, yeah. Mm -hmm. Here's the Liverpool team for tonight against Man United. Row, what's the score going to be? 3-1. 2 Liverpool. The Reds! This is very painful, I can't even lie to you here. I'll keep, I'll keep, I'll keep on. So. No, that's fair enough, but... It's just good food. All healthy food. Mm -hmm. I, don't know, it's, I know it's good, I'm just like so full. Are you full or is it your head giving you a hard time? Because if you're full, then obviously you're full. But if... My head's giving me a hard time, but I also do actually just feel really full. My head's giving me a hard time, it's not playing into the fact that I'm convincing myself that I'm full, do you know what I mean? But there's no lying here, right? I'm actually just full. You know, just have as much as you can manage and then... Mm -hmm. I don't want to give up though. No, just get well, get the chicken and like most of the noodles done. And the vet, you know, I, I, I do normally, I'll probably leave a little bit of veg here as well. I'm getting a very sore tummy. It's happening. I am genuinely full, but finishing what's on your plate is always really, really important. Don't take it the wrong way. I just also think that when you're in later recovery or you're eating especially much that day, you are allowed to let yourself listen to when you're full and stop. Well, yeah, let's be honest, mm -hmm. you have eaten compared to what you'd normally eat. I mean, you normally eat, you know, a decent amount, but it's, mm -hmm. you know, I, I do eat a lot of food, like a lot of food. Mm -hmm. And you have basically like mouthful for mouthful eaten what I would eat. Mm -hmm. So surprised you've made it this far, to be honest. I mean, to manage, wake up and manage six weeds of this with about two pints of milk <laughs> drizzled all over it. It was hell. I got a new battery. Um, I am calling it quits on dinner just because I really don't want to actually genuinely make myself unwell. And I feel like it's heading that way because very, very full sore stomach, you know. Anyways, we're going to have pudding. Pudding? You calling it pudding or snack? Pudding. Well, it's basically Effectively the same thing. pudding. Yeah. Uh, we're having pudding in a little while, so I will see you then. Um, I'm hoping that my stomach's kind of settled a bit before I eat that, but I will see you then. It's dessert time. <laughs> dessert time? Dessert time. <laughs> I think I've gone a bit, a bit crazy from the amount of um, stomach pain. I'm joking, right? Now. Stomach pain's not that bad at all. No, I'm trying to kill you or something. <laughs> no. For dessert, we have a biscoff. I was kind because you like biscuit. I do love it. So do I. So, 
These are oh. really, really good. This will be very easy to eat. Thanks for ending the day with something that- Anytime. Is, I like and is edible right now. I'm gonna be so fucking proud of myself when I finish this. It's been a good day. Uh-huh. Now I feel like really well compared to yeah. Yeah. how I thought I would. I originally thought you we were just gonna be doing like, I'll just cook you smaller portions, but you know, the fact uh -huh. that you've actually done the same portion sizes as me and then been able to you know, finish most of them. Well, you know, we'll get very close to finishing this, you know. <laughs> Didn't think it was possible to be honest, but. These are so good. It's definitely a testament to like how far I've come though, like insanely. Even when I needed to gain weight, this would have freaked me out a lot. Yeah. Like a hell you of think a lot. after like, say a, a full day of eating, even just the portion sizes you would have needed to, to then give you like a chocolate treat thing at the end of the day would have just been like, bloody hell, you know. Mm -hmm. Whereas this is just like, you know, we sat here having a chat. It's taken a lot mentally today, but like, it feels really good that I've done it, you know? Mm. I'm very grateful. I hope this video has kind of showed people as well that like, it's okay that everybody's bodies need different amounts of food because this works both ways. Like, I don't need as much as Rory does. Then Rory needs more than I do, but he's not going to feel bad about that because there's biological reasons for it, you know? Like, I hope that kind of helps somehow, because what's a lot of food to you is not a lot of food to another person. Come here. It's all relative, isn't it? Each individual is different, needs a different amount of food, so, mm -hmm. you know. But that's fine. Another reason why calories on the menus and all this <laughs> women need 2,000 calorie stuff is bullshit. Just straight up bullshit, because a lot of women need a lot more than 2,000 calories, is all I'm saying. Give you any, babe. I love you, but you can't have any. Done, I did it. Well in. What a day. Mm -hmm. I can't believe I did that. Genuinely, a whole day, I did not think I would last. I did not think I would last. What's oh. last? Would last. <laughs> We're distracted by the bubby. Some reflections. Food was really good. Thank you very much. It was really good. <laughs> I couldn't eat like it every day, but I would definitely eat like some of those things again. I do have a lot of guilt in my head because I have eaten more than what I normally would. And I feel a little bit of a sense of like loss of control. But I'm not gonna let that affect me the rest of the night or affect me tomorrow. I'm just gonna sit with it and accept that I feel guilt and move on because it's not making any difference. Eating that amount of food is not making any difference to my life. All it will mean that is if I go to a restaurant and I get a bigger portion, I'm not gonna freak out about it because Rory's giving me six wheat bits and I've eaten it for breakfast and it's fine. <laughs> it it yeah. genuinely is just another thing to prove that like portion sizes don't fucking matter. All these like constructs in my head of like, this is bad, this is bad, you should feel bad for this, you're gonna get fat, rah rah rah, being fat's bad. All of it doesn't matter. On a day-to-day -day basis, I'm eating what I should be eating for a person living my exact life, of my exact weight, of my exact height, of my exact size, like, it's relative to me and I'm eating that and that's fine. I don't know where I'm going with this anymore. Just that everything's fine. Everything will be fine and you need to take care of yourself, please. You need to be kind to yourself. And I love you and I'll see you soon. And if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. It means a lot if you do. Please do. Please do. Are <laughs> you just watching me film it? Please. <laughs> please. Please. And also say, um, if anyone wants to hire me out for a chef, special, mm. you know, home chef, so you know, VIP, come and cook your dinner for you sort of thing, just... Yeah, if anyone wants a, a, a uni student bulking home chef... <laughs> has to um, be chicken stir fry. <laughs> he has a speciality, <laughs> and by speciality I mean like he does nothing else. <laughs> but comment down below if your family are looking for a chef. <laughs> okay, lots of love. I will see you all next week.